In this video, we're going to tell you what I think about Babyface Diary Box. We're here for our unboxing, guys. Check it out. Hi, everybody. It's Amanda from Local Love, and today we are here to do another unboxing and this one is not a local one this time but it is one that you can get on Amazon as a recurring subscription box if you want to and it is uh, actually from Babyface Diary and Babyface Diary basically what it is is they send you uh, and you can get different ones the one I chose was they sent me four Korean sheet masks for your face uh, every month and uh, it's, you can pick to do the mystery one or you can pick a particular type or you can pick to get a bigger package every month if you really like them but i only paid five dollars and 31 cents for that for getting four masks and this is their i got their uh, mystery fun subscription so that means they're going to send me four masks mysterious masks every month and basically I'll be able to check them out and see what I like and see what I don't like. I can also update my subscription if I find that there's a particular thing I want. So it's very cool. Now, what I really like so far is they give you this great instruction sheet. And not only does it give you like instructions about how the masks work and welcome you to their, their club, but it's going to give you individual information on what each mask you're actually getting will do for you it kind of cool right I mean it's a really neat idea you can catch them at babyface diary on Instagram and of course uh, also you know I will link where I purchased this on Amazon down below because it is an Amazon type subscription that you can subscribe to and manage your subscriptions from there so let's see what I got okay now you may have seen some of them on that first thing I just showed you but let's go ahead and go through these masks real quick and I'll look at my little info sheet and try to tell you exactly what they do too. So I got four masks and uh, this one is pretty cool. It's called uh, Soothing Moisture Aloe. All right, and these are Korean masks. So most of what's written on here, I will not be able to read, but uh, there you go. That's exactly what it shows on here. And of course, most of the directions, as you can see, are also in Korean. Um, it does have some information in English here though. It says the daily low irritant mask made of breathable 0.2M air sheets effectively delivers seven free essences to your skin. Very neat. And it says uh, it provides an ab abundance of moisture to dry hot skin with its ingredient of abundance aloe and makes skin comfortably comfortable and healthy by relieving skin of external stimuli and stress. So it's kind of a calming mask as well, it sounds like. All right, so, uh, and that's what it pretty much says here too, uh, that it mostly moisturizes and calms the skin. And it's great for all skin types, especially dry damaged skin. So that's a pretty cool one. Uh, next, we did get this one, it's the uh, rice mask. And again, these are all from Korea. So they are, some of the ones that people have been trusting for skincare over there. And there's a little bit of what the English says on this as well. But uh, this one basically says uh, that this mask, uh, let's see, the rice brightening sheet masks. It makes your skin smooth and flawless with rice extract. Okay, interesting. Flawless skin, we're about it. I mean, it's probably not going to happen tomorrow, but I mean, as you can see, my skin is especially stubborn looking today and a little bit extra angry. So we're going to put on one of these masks in a minute. But in the meantime, we're going to go through and just show you what we got. So the next one we have here is called Innsfree, my Real Squeeze Mask EX. And it's got acai berry. Okay, so it's got acai berry in it. Give it, there you go. Now you can see it a little bit easier, maybe. And uh, for this one, it says that it tighten and smooth the skin with vitamins, antioxidants, and nutrients helps to deeply nourish and revitalize the skin. See, I love this little cheat sheet they give you. It really makes it cool to know exactly what you're getting yourself into before you put one of these things on your face. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that one to the side and we've got one more that we got in this kit. And again, I paid $5.32, 31 cents, 32 cents, whatever, um, and got four masks. I believe the next month's box uh, might be more, but it may be the same. I'll have to double check and see if they up the price for the following month, if this was just an introductory thing or not. So I'll double check that as well and try to put it in the video. All right, so the last one we have says natural mask sheet pomegranate. And of course, you can see everything else is in Korean there, but it does say the same, the same. I don't know if that's correct. It says pomegranate from Turkey, actually. Oh, I guess the pomegranate itself is from Turkey, but the masks are uh, Korean. The same, the same natural pomegranate mask sheet firming. Okay. So this is some of the information they do put on here. And it says this everyday pure essence mask is great for firming and elasticity, richly nourishes rough skin to restore dewy and plump looking resilient skin. Great for all skin types. Huh, that one kind of sounds like one I really actually need. My skin is wrecked, am I right? So I'm not sure which one I want to choose. Let's see, well we're gonna do one today. And then I will show you the other ones as we go for it as well. But this is a, let's see what we have here. I think what we're gonna do is just mix it up and blind pick, right? And, okay. So we're gonna pick the aloe for the day, which is sort of the ones I was leaning towards to begin with, because it's the first one on their little list. And I don't know if they give them to you in any particular order. So we're going to do the aloe today. And let's just take a look here. We're going to start with our initial thoughts on this one. I've already washed my face and my hands. So everything is clean. Oh, if I can get it open. Oh, wow. Does it smell good? Really smell. I know I say that about all of them, but ooh, this one smells so fresh and yummy. I mean, not yummy like I'm going to eat it, but it's so awesome. All right. It's kind of hard to get out. There we go. There is a lot of juice in there, y'all. A lot, a lot. I will be putting more of that on later. Ooh, it's a little drippy, so be careful and be prepared when you go to pull it out. And I'm going to try to gently open this because it looks like, I don't know how, uh, it looks about as strong as the ones we've been trying lately, so we'll see how it works here. Let me slowly unfold this thing. It is uh, dripping, so it's got a lot on here. We're gonna put this on here in just a second and get started, right? All right. All right. Okay. Well, let's put the little nosy flap down. I have the worst trouble remembering that part. Go ahead and open it all the way up and then just get started by putting it on your forehead first. Ooh, that's cold. <laughs> Very cold. All right, so I like to un leave it like this and work my way down into. Okay, now that I look like Jack the Ripper or something, well, no, probably more like Hannibal Lecter, but either way. Um, let's see here. Now that I look like this, we're going to give it, and let's see if those directions are in English on this because. It actually doesn't. 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, guys. So I'm not going to make you sit here and go through it with me, but I'll be back and I'll let you know what I think. Alrighty, guys. So we are back and now it's time for me to remove my mask and see what we're looking at. Now, right now, honestly, I didn't feel any like tingling or anything. I mean, like most of these masks, again, it feels very refreshing. I will say this one was extra refreshing, I guess. Maybe it's the smell because it smells even better than some of the other ones we've had. But uh, yeah, we'll see if it has any effect because I have very dry skin, you've probably noticed. Um, and sorry, the wind is kicking out here, so bear with me. So let's just go ahead and take this off. It has been 15 minutes, by the way. I split the difference between the 10 and the 20. And let's see if my face looks any calmer to you. I mean, it's still right here, but then again, these are bumps, so. I don't know what happened that just cropped up yesterday. Fantastic, right? Okay, so it's still wet. 
of course I just removed the mask and maybe it's slightly calmer I don't know right now it doesn't seem it but you know once it dries perhaps um, feels really nice under here where I've been putting it because I already took the excess out and put it on my face before I click back in for the video so that I wouldn't have to do it afterwards I'm sure you guys don't really need to see me put all that you know, excess on my face or whatever it's there we know it's there and I'm just gonna get around here because for some reason it didn't stick on my around my mouth very well but I mean the mask itself was like most of the other ones it had its ups and downs and you know they try to make those so that they'll fit everybody so it is hard to do all right guys so again if you are looking for this we are going to link it in the description down below and um, the name of that company again is Babyface Diary and uh, I it is not sponsored I'm not sponsored by them at all um, but you can use my affiliates link down below uh, for Amazon it helps me out a little bit you know uh, and it is appreciated so thank you if you do that and also one other thing you guys can really do for me whether you like these videos or maybe you want to learn more about Florida history or you want to go and check out the sites or just some local events you know we got all kinds of stuff unboxings and you name it keto stuff we've got a lot of stuff going on so if you like what we're doing make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button my understanding is is if you change that little button that red button down there to gray it's supposed to be really good luck so I want you guys to have good luck mostly and if you do like what we're doing please give us a thumbs up as well we certainly appreciate it it helps us out a lot and we always want to hear your comments guys if you have a comment please drop it in there this kind of stuff also helps us as well and it's also just something we want to hear from you guys we want to know what you're up to what you think about what we're doing uh, if you like it if you don't if you have ideas on what we should do drop it we'd love to hear it and uh, other than that guys uh, so far all I can say about this particular mask it feels very refreshing and it has kind of smoothed out my skin a little. I'm sure you guys can kind of tell I me mean, these bumps were probably not going to be resolved in, in a mask sitting, you know what I mean? But uh, everything is very nice right now because the mask is pretty dry at this point and it feels very nice and moisturized, but I don't know if that's going to last. So I guess you'll have to wait and see me in the next video. But so far, I like this aloe mask. Uh, I think it was great and we'll just have to see uh you know what some of the other ones do and again if you decide you want to see what kind of options uh baby face diary has check that description down below 80 percent of you are not subscribed so i hope when i come back that more of you will be watching what we do every day okay and we do upload four times a week we look forward to having you as part of our local love family hey everybody all right so we're moving on to our next mask uh, the first one we did was the aloe from baby face diary okay and of course uh now we're going to move on to my real squeeze mask ex hmm this one's acai berry and uh well it says cream style here or cream type excuse me it does show it going on like a mask mask all right so let's get into this Ooh, it's splashy already so first impressions this one is a uh, acai berry oh it is super creamy up in here look it's very creamy but it is a paper mask at the end Ooh, it smells so fresh all right so this or a cotton mask maybe not paper you know what I mean the face mask and it's dripping on me not ideal so I would probably move off to the side a little so that you don't end up wearing whatever this is on here and you know the usual you're gonna open it up carefully including the little nosy flap so it's ready to go on your face once you get to that point we're just gonna go ahead and dive right into this second mask oh this one's got like a little look devil's horns <laughs> Yeah, so did like little nubs. I'm gonna be an imp apparently. Okay guys, we're gonna start up at the forehead like usual. Oh, very refreshing so far. I mean, I haven't seen a mask yet that wasn't, so that's kind of cool. Let's get it a little closer to the nose. There it is, so it's on the face. We've already started our timing, so this is gonna be on uh, 15 to 20 minutes you know the usual routine 
and uh, see exactly what we're looking at. Let me just make sure that that is what it says to do. Yeah, 10, it says 10 to, 10 to 20. Now let's just take a look in this packet here. See if there's a lot left. I bet there is. Oh my, yeah. So instead of waiting, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start rubbing it. Well, we got time to sit here, right? I mean, we might as well. I'm not a big fan of the way this particular mask fits, but uh, my initial feelings already are that it is very, it does feel like it's gonna be really moisturizing. I mean, it's got that kind of feeling. It's not just like, ooh, they put something wet on my face. I can actually feel like a, a creaminess about it. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So I will be back. Alrighty, guys, we are back and it has been about 15 minutes. Um, a little more maybe, a couple more minutes than that. And yeah, I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat already, just in the places like back here and stuff that I rub this, honestly feel wonderful. And uh, more, the more it dries, the more you can smell the uh, acai berries, very cool. It's got a really nice fruit flavor, or not flavor, but it's got a really nice fruit fragrance. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's take this off and see here. I like to kind of just, you know, hit some of those high points. Maybe it wasn't hitting. Honestly, guys, this feels very nice. Kind of get my ears because they get really dry too for some reason. I feel like they're sticking out the side of my head, right? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. This feels really lovely. I like this one a lot. It's called My Real Squeeze Mask EX, and uh, this one is for acai berry, which is lovely. And it's kind of creamy. And I've already gotten everything from inside, but you can either do that while you've got your mask on, or you can do it after, which is what I usually do. Today I just stopped it to go ahead and do it in advance. Yeah, so that one I really like. Uh, this is one I would definitely consider getting again. It's very creamy. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I mean, obviously the cream is still on my face and it just depends on how it's gonna interact um, once it's dry. And uh, yeah, I put some back behind my ears and on the back of my neck and of course on here. And already it feels very emulsifying you know very very moisturizing so yeah I like this one a lot and this is one that I would definitely consider getting again thank you baby face diary so on to the next mask all right guys we're back for mask number three and this time we're gonna do this one's the rice a rice mask and uh, it's you can see it's one of the Korean masks that we had and it says pure essence mask sheet. So let's try this one. Oh, this one says easy open. Oh, it's got like a little flappy. So this one's slightly different. So you can pull it apart. That might be cool. Ooh, this one's got a very funky, not a bad smell really. Not a great smell, it's kind of different. It's an interesting smell. Maybe it'll be more medicinal. It smells like when you walk into a hair salon, maybe. I don't know. That's what it kind of reminds me of, like when I go to a Veda to get my hair cut, which is not very often, mind you, but in the past, it always has that kind of spa product smell. <laughs> All right, let me get this thing apart. It is drippy very drippy so this one's not creamy I did like the creamy one we did last time by the way it turned out really well I think let's just get a look here I think today my skin's looking a little more moisturized than it would normally so we're gonna take this back here and see what we can do here it's probably gonna go back there honestly or it's gonna drive me insane so we'll just put the ponytail back there and I'm almost done getting this mask together it is not an easy one to pull apart. Let's see here, I'm on the right side for this. No, the nose dongle's on this side. There it is. And this piece of the chin. All right, we're just gonna get started because it apparently is just gonna keep reattaching to itself. So I think the key is to get as much apart as we can and go from there. 
Yeah, I don't know what that smell is. It's not bad. It's just not like girly perfumey, which is probably better, honestly. You don't necessarily need that for your skin all the time. This seems like a very small forehead. Ooh. I don't know who they intended this mask for, but I don't know if it was me. There we go. I'm trying to keep my eye closed until I'm sure it's not right. There it goes. It seems to be stretching out just fine now. Ooh, it does actually come into my nose a little easier here. Except we got a little gap. Let's move that. I'd rather it be by my nose than by my eyeballs, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, that seems to lay in my nose region a little easier. Very, very, extremely wet mask. This one's wetter than the other ones, believe it or not. It seems extremely wet. And it seems to lay down easier in the long run once you get it apart. It's a little harder to get apart, maybe. Try not to eat it. I don't care if it's supposed to be rice or not. I'm on keto. <laughs> no rice for me. Just kidding. Well, I am and I'm not. <laughs> Guys, if you have keto recipes, drop them in the comments. I'm always down. I'm always down. If you guys want me to start a keto group or something like that, let me know. Maybe I'd be down to do that. And we can exchange recipes and uh, ideas and things like that. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and move this around. All right, so we're gonna leave this on for that 10 to 15 minutes like it says. All right, you've seen the mask, it's on my face. Let me go see what happens in 10 to 15 minutes. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're at our 15 minutes. And so now we're going to, uh, you know, give you a little bit of idea. Now, I just think this one is very refreshing. I know I say that about a lot of them, but this one seems, it seems kind of, um, kind of an earthier smell. Not a bad, like, not like dirt or anything kind of musky like uh, musk you know kind of smell but more a little less it's really nice anyway I kind of like it and it doesn't you know sometimes those really perfumey ones get perfumey ones get to me let's go ahead and take this off it has definitely been over our 15 minutes so let's do that Ooh, it feels nice coming off all right so it's still pretty wet we have uh, you know we're just kind of going in here and touching some of these places where we think it might not have gotten in I'm pretty sure I got it everywhere though to be honest because I put it behind my ears I put it above my ears all down my neck as usual and uh, honestly it feels lovely it really really has a nice feeling to it and uh, yeah so this was mask number three the rice extract mask and uh, let's just tap it in like it says to do. I probably could do it with this. It would be a little more, a little cleaner maybe. Yeah, there we go. We'll just tap it in. And that is pretty much all it's supposed to do. So far, I like this one. It, it feels nice. It feels really lovely. My skin is very cold right now, even though it is got to be pushing 80 out here. <laughs> I mean, if you look behind me though, look at that bougainvillea. It's so pretty. I love it. And I'm always happy to have it in my shots. It's so beautiful. But uh, yeah, man, this, I'm under an umbrella. Otherwise that sun that's out here would be nailing me. Look how bright that is. Uh, as it is, it's hitting my leg and I can feel it. It feels very hot. So this feels lovely. Um, I can't, you know, obviously you can't really tell if it's having an effect. I feel like my skin was still pretty pretty moisturized from yesterday's mask um, so yeah pretty stoked about that so we'll check it out we've got one more mask in this package we did everything else we did the uh, aloe and then we did the uh, the acai we did the acai and today we did the rice and uh, we'll do the pomegranate next all right guys we'll see you for that one I'll be back 
All right, guys, we're back for the last mask, day four, and we're looking at the pomegranate face mask. So pretty excited. Uh, these have been very nice, and I mean, for five dollars and like thirty cents or something, I think it was all together for the box for four of these Korean face masks. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me if you think it's done any good or if, I don't know what this is. That's not very pretty. Uh, my whole face is a wreck. I wear glasses when I'm in the house on the computer, so that's probably what this red is here. But I have a lot of damage. Honestly though, normally right in here, it's way drier than it usually is. Um, I mean, normally it's drier. <laughs> right now it's not as dry. So I do think that the masks help on some level. Please forgive my sloppy hair. I guess you guys are pretty used to it by now. But uh, let me go ahead and open this one and let's do it. Let's get our initial ideas. Ah, that went right in my mouth. It doesn't taste like pomegranate, I'll tell you that. Don't eat them, guys. Oh, it smells so nice. Again, this sort of smells like being in the salon. Um, definitely more pomegranate-y smelling. pomegranate -y. I don't know. Pomegranate smelling, I guess, would be the best way to say that. All right. So this, like the others, you keep them on for 10 to 15 minutes. Super, super wet. This one's kind of like the one we did uh, yesterday. And do, 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 as soon as I can get it open, la, la, la. You got to be so careful with these. You don't want to rip them. All right, now that I've got it pretty much opened out as much as I can while it's not on my face. There's a bug attacking me. Get out of here, Nat. All right, so now that I got it up, let's go ahead and get started. Let's put it on the forehead. I'm excited. Apparently, I'm doomed to taste it again. Here goes my mask trying to fly away. All right. But it is such a beautifully breezy and lovely day. I kind of hate to not be out here and enjoying it. Sort of my break from my day job. So there's that. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got it on there. Okay, this thing is really peeving me. I really don't want to taste it again. It wasn't that delicious. I can tell you, and I like to just rub it in top of my ears, behind my ears, along my neckline. Can't seem to get it to move. Some of these masks fit better than others and stay better, stay down better than others. This is not that mask, apparently. All right, guys. So you know the routine, we'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes and let you know what we think. Right now, all I can tell you is it's very refreshing, like all the other masks, it's cool and wet and uh, it doesn't feel sticky yet, but I mean, it could be, well, maybe a little sticky. It smells so nice. So it, to me, just sitting out here for that 10 to 15 minutes and relaxing with this on, it makes you a little more zen you know what i'm saying so that's what we're shooting for and uh yeah give me a moment and i'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes to let you know what i think about my final baby face diary korean sheet mask all right be right back okay guys we're back and it has been uh, about 10 a little over 10 minutes so <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and take this mask off. Wow, guys, we got a rare visit from my buddy. This is Wiley Cat. Wiley! He never comes up to me. Wow, what a pretty kitty, right? He's great. He's a feral kitty, one of the many feral kitties we take care of here. And it's very rare for him to come up to me, so that is wild. So, sorry, I got interrupted there in removing my mask because Mr. Wiley is ready to have his petting. Oh, he's such a pretty cat, though. Isn't he lovely? All right, buddy, give me a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, as you can see, it's already starting to dry up around my face. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and pull it up. Oh, lovely, you can see my wrinkles. Fantastic. All right. Okay, so now, of course, like most of the other ones, they want you to pat it in. And just make sure that all of that gets absorbed by your skin. 
Wiley is over here demanding I pet him. So I'm doing that while I'm <laughs> while I'm doing this. I think he's decided to move on now, but boy, he was adamant. He was like, pet me right now. He's moving on. Have a good day, Wiley. My pretty kitties, right? I'm very blessed. I have very pretty cats. Sadly, our uh, Chihuahua, Bobo, who you've seen in probably quite a few of my videos, he uh, passed away. Uh, we had him for 20, 21 years. I mean, well, we had him for 20 years, but he was 21 years old. Uh, that's, that's a miraculously long life, even for a Chihuahua. All right, so yeah, nothing spectacularly different. No tingling, nothing weird. Um, just very refreshing, but uh, as it's been on your face a while, it does acclimate to the temperature, so it's not so cold. Um, and so, you know, it's a little less refreshing at that point, but it still feels nice. And yeah, we'll see if it helps. Hopefully it'll make my skin go and elasticize it like it says it will. We'll see about that. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I can tell you that I am a huge fan of the uh, Baby Face Diary Mystery Fun Mask. And so, yeah, I'll put their information up on the screen. Make sure that you guys check them out. If you want to get one of these boxes, I will put the link in the description for you. All right, and now we got Mama Cat coming over here. This is our Mommy Kitty. I don't know if she'll go on camera. Mama Kitty, come here, precious. Precious girl, come here. Mama Kitty, she's the one that had all the kittens. If you haven't seen that video, we'll link it at the top. It's called Cat Love. And it shows you uh, the her last and final litter, actually. We've had her fixed. And she has had numerous litters with us. But uh, she's a sweet old Mama Kitty. And she's feral, so she mostly lives outside. She did come and visit and stay inside for a bit of time. But uh, once the kittens got bigger, she wasn't a real fan of being around them. So, you know, kind of an instinct that moms kind of push the children away. So, at any rate, we'll link it up at the top so that you can go watch that great video of her last, uh, her last litter. And uh, basically, from that, you'll see that those cats were little kittens, but now uh, they're grown up. And you can see that on our local love report. We do have some pictures of the cats now that they're adult kitties. Well, they're still young. They're not really adult. They're... Uh, they won't even be a year old until April, but beautiful kitties. She's always had the most wonderfully beautiful cats. Well, you saw her. She's a pretty girl, and she's very sweet. She's scared of pretty much everybody but me and my mom, and, uh, you know, she, nope, she see, she agrees. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. I hope that you like it. Again, uh, make sure you click the link in the description. It helps us out a lot. And if you could leave a comment, uh, if you've ever used this before, or if you're thinking of getting it, or if you have a question, ask. We love to get comments from you guys and we don't hear from you near enough. So please leave us a comment and make sure you let us know what you think of these type of videos. If you wanna see us doing something else, let us know. And uh, other than that, guys, all I can say is we are so grateful that you guys come to us here at Local Love. And uh, make sure you subscribe. We don't want you to miss out on any of the fun stuff we have coming up for you guys in the future. As uh, we've got a couple different series we're working on. And we want you to come along for the ride. All right, local Tarians, I will catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>